Hello, everyone. My name is Johnny Robinson, and our team case is on Applied Research Technology Filtration Unit and whether or not they should fund the unit's latest product, funding the filtration unit. The members of my awesome team are Violet Nguyen, who will be discussing the executive summary and overall view of the company. Juan Sanchez will be presenting and discussing the business management style and the process of the company's VP department will be decided discussing from the case. A mean thing will be presenting and discussing the overall case and our team recommendations. We hope the PowerPoint presentation of our case will give some new insight, new knowledge on different management styles and processes that you can take with you in a positive, productive way for whether your future endeavors may be. In our PowerPoint presentation, we will be discussing key findings of our case, company overview, department overview, product development, three-phase process, recommendations, and conclusion. In our PowerPoint presentation, we will be discussing the issue that involves Applied Research Technologies Company's filtration unit. Our key findings are that Peter Valles, who is the general manager for the filtration unit of Applied Research Technologies, had requested $2 million to relaunch a mini water oxidation product because of two previous failures from the department to bring the same product to market over the past three years, it has tremendously hurt his credibility. But with his team's latest version of the same product, Vias is confident it would be a success that it would bring back his credibility. Vias's boss, Cynthia Jackson, the newly appointed VP of Arts Water Management Division, has been trying to get the department back on track. Filtration unit had only one revenue generating product line and had failed to bring profits to the market in the past five years. Her belief in dealing with the unit is to turn it around or to shut it down. To ensure that the third attempt would be a success, she created a three-step product development process. After reading all the processes and what the department has done to prove their worth, our recommendation would be that Cynthia Jackson support and approve the $2 million proposal. We recommended Mrs. Jackson to follow the CEO's company philosophy by supporting innovative thought for filtration unit's final attempt. If they do not succeed, she can shut down the department. In the next few slides and discussions, we will be presenting and supporting and recommending on why we, should, we say yes on the approval of the $2 million proposal in more depth. But before we do, we would like to give everyone a little more background on the company. One of the world's top emerging giants, Applied Research Technology has grown through the merger and acquisition of numerous tech-based industrial companies acquired in the LBO buyouts waves in the 1980s and 90s. By 2006, ART had 60 business units, each operated as a profit center. Their total corporate revenue was $11 billion in 2006. The company consists of healthcare, such as medical diagnostic equipment, industrial automation, like robotics, energy extraction, conversion, and transportation solutions for oil and gas industry, including water management division and HVAC, which stands for heating, ventilation, and air conditioning that includes climate control solution for residential, commercial, and industrial markets. Art success comes from cultivating and building innovative and entrepreneurial culture in their company, coupled with a decentralized management philosophy. The filtration business unit is part of a business that Art acquired from an oil and gas service company in 1996. The core product line was a mobile water treatment that allowed oil and gas exploration companies to meet government water recycling requirements at well heads and drilling sites. In late 1990s, new competition from Chinese manufacturers had forced them to rethink their strategies for newer, more innovative products. Art's newly acquired filtration business had tried to develop the next generation of products and technologies, but after two high-profile product failures, the unit and company lost confidence. By 2006, it was losing $6 million annually. This is their last attempt to turn everything around, and with the help of Mrs. Jackson's three-step process, they may finally have their last chance to prove themselves.
In the next few slides, I will be presenting and discussing the management technique of the new appointed VP in the Water Management Division, Cynthia Jackson Product Development Three Phases Process. This process is important because without succeed in each process, the filtration unit will not be able to move forward with their proposal to receive the $2 million support to launch the product. Peter Vias, team member, Janet Wagner, was appointed to take the lead on preparing the phase one requirements, which was to develop a general product concept supported by market research because the unit lacked to expertise to sell to developing market, government, and so forth. Wagner decided to focus on more research on U.S. data that help support the strong potential for residential water purification systems. She also researched to see if opportunity might exist in domestic agriculture applications, which was brought in to use of the product they are trying to launch. After winning the approval for the first phase, phase two, the team needed to develop a design of actual product of his specification. It was essential that the team needed to figure out how to produce this product with the budget of 1000 each for his wholesale price point to the group agreed, including the, group, the product expert. They will also need to build a working prototype. Without a working prototype by the deadline, the group will surely fail, but luckily they will be able to get a prototype by the working with the outside and the inside sources. In phase three, it was one of the most difficult phases for Bias and his team because they were no use to creating complex cell forecast and model and cost estimate on the industrial that was minimal. But regardless of the difficulties, they were able to create on detailed product concept, marketing approach, and manufacturing strategies, including in the process they were able to figure it out, sell forecasts, cost projection, and expenses estimate after fulfilling the requirements and completing all three phases, the next step will be founding and approval, and that will be all up to Cindy Jackson. Hi, this is Minji. Knowing that the filtration unit has failed two previous attempts that is on their last lifeline, our team knows that the filtration unit will be more driven and desperate to ensure they have done everything they possibly can to succeed. After vigorous work and research, our team recommends Vice President Cynthia Jackson to give the development team $2 million in funding for a mini oxidation system. The reasons why we say yes are, if we say no, there's only one outcome, failure. But if we say yes, we have two outcomes, one that is already obvious, failure, but the other outcome is success. It's a 50-50 chance that the product could succeed and the outcome compare if it fails will not be any different than if we just say no. Since the company has already put a lot of money into getting the product into manufacturing for a prototype, not completing it would made, make all the work, time and effort wasted and in vain. Moral of the company will be down that management would not follow through on the belief of their employees. True, companies have to be realistic but to have the three strike year out rule will be the best way to figure out if a department or a product should be shut down. By saying yes, Cynthia Jackson can still have her credibility because she has maintained the CEO's work concept. That is, we understand that when you go for the big lab, you won't always clear the bar. So there's no shame in failure when you are stretching for big objectives. Around here, we routinely celebrate what we call worthy attempts, even when they are unsuccessful. If they fail, then she can close the filtration unit because they had failed two other previous times, and this will be considered their final opportunity. 
By closing the filtration unit, they can either lay off all the people working in the department or move them into other departments, so they don't have to outsource their new hires, and this would save the company a lot of money and time. Regardless, if the research and the findings aren't as concrete, $2 million to a big company like ART won't shut down the company. Like the saying goes, if you are all the way down, the only way to go is up, and this is the chance we are willing to take. By saying yes, if the many oxidation systems are profitable, the filtration unit could use the money to develop the potential markets which they already researched for, such as developing nations to provide the portable water solutions for areas with unsafe drinking water, also for U.S. commercial like the restaurants, grocery stores, laundry mats, liner uniform companies, farms, landscape irrigation. And the money can also use for United States and overseas emergency units like a disaster relief military. In conclusion, we mentioned the issue which was Peter Voss, the general manager for Applied Research Technology Filtration Unit Department, requesting $2 million to fund the launch of the product, a mini oxidation unit which will be the third attempt after two high-profile failures of a similar product. If he doesn't get the money, not only will he lose his credibility, he would also lose his job. Cynthia Jackson, Peter Voss's boss, and also the VP of Water Management Division, doesn't want a, pro a failed product launch as part of her resume and doesn't want the company to lose any more money. But to profit, she created a product development three-phase process to ensure that all steps were taken and considered before approving any product. Our team's recommendation and solution, like we mentioned in our presentation, was that have Cynthia Jackson approve the funding, but mentioned to the team and the company that the reasoning behind her decision was that she wanted to maintain the CEO's philosophy in supporting innovation starts regardless of failures, but at the same time, be realistic that companies need to know when to cut their losses, especially after the three strikes rule of any failed attempts of launching new products. And because of the filtration unit did complete all three phases, it would be unfair to turn them down after completing what was asked of them. Another recommendation our team suggested that if the department shut down, she would implement moving the employees to different departments to keep them to, to keep their job position and the company to hire within so that it saves money and time. Morale in the company will stay high because they will feel that they're important no matter what the outcome of the project would be and would continue to work hard. Just because a product doesn't see, it doesn't mean that the people who work on them wasn't good, wouldn't look good and low employees. Therefore, no matter what the outcome would be, our team sees that it's a win-win situation in different areas within the company.